The startup module comprises the tab screen ribbon at the top. On the top of the ribbon there are tabs that you can click on. And when you do this, the ribbon displays different sets of controls in the ribbon group. There are eight tabs available to click on. The first tab allows you to run the five software modules that act on the strategic plan selected in the tree. From left to right these are the strategic statements module provides storage and linkage space for the main vision mission statements plus six other groups such as values, policies and procedures. The strategy map module provides the ability to define a complete third generation strategic picture incorporating the vision mission statements and a number of row aligned linked objectives. The balanced scorecard module. Here you can build a system that defines and monitors strategic alignment by cascading the defined objectives into a table and adding data that defines how an objective is applied to each organizational position. The drill down dashboard module. This allows you to generate cross-reference data across all the balanced scorecard columns. And the options module provides the ability for you to redefine standard terms and add in special purpose balanced scorecard columns. The second tab is for the strategic plan actions. This provides functions that allow you to add or delete strategic plans. You can also move plans to a different location in the tree Plus, you can unlock the screen to change the name and address of your own strategic plans. The third tab is for the software licensing. If you have purchased a software license, this will allow you to easily locate the saved XML license file that we emailed you. If you saved it in the desktop or my documents folders, then the software can search and locate the file for you. When your software license has been read, you can also use this same screen to change the database location and allow for shared usage. The fourth tab is the XML, which allows you to import and export strategic plans. XML is a firewall-friendly data transfer form that can be sent anywhere. It contains an entire database and you can export a strategic plan in this format. XML export can also be used as a backup or easily emailed to a friend who can then import your strategic plan into their own system. The fifth tab is for checking your database integrity. The database has several tables, all of which are linked. These table relations are shown on the screen. When you run the integrity checker, it tests all these links and also updates the running totals. The sixth tab is for the strategic event log. Every significant event is logged and the log display depends on the strategic plan you have clicked on. The seventh tab is for creating database backups. MS Access files can be backed up at the click of a button. The last tab explains some details of the software development system used plus the external libraries. To the right of the tabs are the controls that allow you to zoom the text size, change the ribbon visual style and enable the pop-up help. To adjust the text size, click on the plus or minus buttons. A text label there shows the screen area that has focus. Clicking on the plus or minus buttons will zoom the text of this zone. Change the zone affected by clicking on it before you click the zoom. The visual style provides three color options. Click on this button and the drop-down selection is displayed. Enable the pop-up help by clicking on the info button. This will enable the mouse over help system. When you move your mouse over an active control, the help text will appear. On the screen below the ribbon is the general display area. For the run modules and strategic plan tabs, this contains the tree view on the left and the strategic plan name on the right. In the strategic plan screen you can change the name of your own plan. The license tab has the one screen which displays the details of your software license. The XML tab has four screens, one for importing, one for exporting, 
plus there are examples of business and academic usage. The data integrity checker has the one screen. When you invoke the checker, it displays a log which can be exported into Excel. The event log has the one screen which allows you to browse events one week at a time. The backup tab just has the one screen where you can instantly perform the backup. This does not apply to SQL Server installations. Thank you for watching this video.